Okay. Hey, uh, chat, if you want to... Uh, well, yeah. All right. So, that Jam Jar and Capo's repping Team New Jersey, trying to defend their home turf. And then Raz and Sebula, both coming from the Philly area. I don't know if Raz and Sebula have... I don't know if any of these guys have teamed together before, but um, they're both, like, inter-region players, so they should have somewhat some kind of level of chemistry having played against each other a lot playing a lot of friendlies probably some friendly uh some friendly bubbles. oh man this is zebula hitting him with the the ness up beat uh, so jam jar and capos have what seems like a uh, like a legit doubles comp in this silly rule set um Raz and Sebula, however, pretty pretty on the orthodox. Luigi Ness, not a very common comp in any rule set. Oh, Raz nares his own teammate and gets F smashed. Uh, so now they're they're down two stocks. Uh, ooh, wow, Sebula managed to roll out of that up tilt shield pressure. I thought Jamdar was gonna go for down air. Oh, he doesn't quite kill him. That was a great save from uh, from Raz doing the Luigi dash attack to push Jam Jar off, and then he kind of SD. <laughs> um, uh, more. Sh ooh, he gets a shield break, and Wispy pushes Sebula off the stage in the shield break animation. That's crazy. A uh, couple uh, tough luck stocks on both teams, but we're looking at. Oh, great play from uh, Sebula to get the edge guard on Jam Jar. Kind of bringing this back. They're only down a stock. Well, they had some good shield pressure on Puff, but they managed to get the kill anyways. Uh, can Jam Jar? Jam Jar doesn't get the edge guard. I don't know if he was trying to get Ness with the spike rather than edge guarding Luigi, but it didn't work out for him. Oh, uh, down smash is your best option. There's Puff to cover the edge guard. Turns around, great presence of mind to get that uh, that edge guard on Luigi. Oh, and that's what Luigi brings to a team. Very strong doubles character. Um, oh, and he gets them both back to back. Yeah, Luigi's got such strong punishes, and it he has an easier time winning the neutral in doubles, but he doesn't necessarily have to win the neutral himself. That's what makes him so strong in doubles compared to singles, is that despite being a slow character, he can let his teammate win the neutral and get punishes off of that. Oh, Raz wanted to jump there. He didn't get it. Almost killed himself. Oh, and Seb hits the, uh, hits the side of the stage without getting the ledge. It's that sour spot on oh, Ness's up B. And Team Green's down to their last stocks. Um, Team New Jersey has an extra one to work with, but they're both high percentage. So this is actually, despite being down a stock, this is a favorable situation for uh, for Team Philly, Team Green. They can they can take those two stocks off. Oh, great fireball! Oh, and Raz single-handedly saves Seb there with two fireballs to uh, give him the lead. And see, that's what I'm talking about. Um, they were both high percentage, despite being up a stock. So they lost two of their stocks before uh, New Jersey or before Philly lost one, and now they have themselves a two v one. And Sebula going to town on Jam Jar. He needs to play it safe though, because this isn't. This is definitely a winnable two v one for Kirby. Uh, Jam Jar. They put into work some uh, knowledge is dished to him in friendlies before this uh, on how to recover with Kirby. You have the ledge. Instead of going for the ledge hop forward airs, he does the turnaround back air. And Raz seals it with a strong forward air. Wow. So despite being, being down most of that game, Philly brought it back with a couple clutch plays in the last few stocks. Uh, do you want a headset? Okay, <laughs> go go spread this. <clears throat> All right. So we're seeing Capos switch off a of puff. Um, 
I don't necessarily think he did a terrible job. He didn't get any uh, rest. And Raz gets that quick stock with a down smash edge guard. Um, giving Team Philly a quick lead. Oh, I, I would have liked to see Raz get the single coin on Ness to give him another chance to up B. Um, push him a little bit higher, but instead he doesn't make it back. Oh, Raz with the double up smash. He doesn't kill uh, Samus, Kapos, but he takes care of Jamjar's first stock. So they, okay, so the audio they were talking about yeah. All right. So we're live with commentary. Oh, no, no, we were we were good. Oh, okay. I just I just couldn't hear you. I was like, wait a second. Yeah. All right. All right. That's what I was I, I was thinking. I didn't realize there was two separate settings. Oh, Raz moves it a forward air to up smash. True combo. So would uh, Kapos get scared of Luigi as Jigglypuff and switch off? Uh, yeah, I don't know. He got a lot of pretty good kills with Puff, but none of them were rests. He was getting a lot of like hard nair hits off stage. Uh, I mean, um, that's good. Yeah, I, I was like, I don't know necessarily why he switched um, because they had a lead most of the first game, um, but Philly kind of pulled it back at the end. Oh, great snap from Seb with the uh, the oh, down nice. base. That should have gotten baited there, but yeah. Jamjar thought he had one more jump. Oh, he could have gotten a little more out of that. The uh, Fire Emblem Nintendo Classic. Oh, Jamjar's, re Jamjar's really been struggling with this. <laughs> oh, and Seb throwing away a stock to do it, but they're up two now. Yeah. Um, Jamjar's really having a hard time with these guys off stage. Um, he's gotten punished a couple times. Um, and Kappa's solid combo from Jamjar. Oh, he almost hit Ness! Now, if Ness was awesome. He would have just downed yeah, that. Yeah, that would have been sick. <laughs> and he wouldn't have made it back, but yeah. um, this is a little closer than it was before. Um, Kapos has a lot of damage, but if he starts getting those offstage downers, he's not. He hasn't been in a position to like that to take quick stocks. And that was a really quick swing from them. There are two characters that can get those quick stocks offstage with their spikes. Um, but they hadn't really been getting any of them. But this is pretty much as close as it gets. Um, oh, Ness off stage. Uh, this should be over. You up oh too close to the stage. <laughs> Why did you do that? Kappa's took, or Jam Jar took as long as possible to get out <laughs> I there. I really I thought he might get hit. And <laughs> uh, this should be easy for Kirby. Oh, he, oh I, I <laughs> like that. I don't know if that was intentional, but... Uh, Jam Jar kind of baited Raz onto the stage for Kappa's to get the shot. I don't know if that was like some cool team synergy there. Team you got a you got a game three now. Yeah, that was, that was crazy. So the the first game, Raz and Zebula were behind by a couple stocks, and they brought it back. And that game, uh, Jam Jar and Kappa's were down by a lot, and they brought it back. So we'll see. I have no, I have no idea how this one could go. Raz is considering other characters. Um, I think he's been spot on with Luigi. I don't, I don't like this pick. I think if anyone was gonna switch, um, I think it would have been Seb. Because Seb, uh, he's gotten some good spikes, but he really hasn't had those like Pyro, you know, s recoveries, like those really good nest recoveries that can throw a team off. Uh, but Raz, oh. <laughs> right back here, this charge shot. Um, Raz's Pika is pretty good, though. And this team composition did win the only uh, SK doubles to be held at a major. So maybe they can work some magic. Oh, Pika Ness? Yeah, it was uh, <laughs> Boom and Pyro. Nice. Oh, and Champ Jar! Champ Jar has struggled so much off stage. Uh, it's kind of crazy. I don't know if he's got the jitters or what. Because uh, he's usually pretty good at uh, doing Kirby stuff off stage. Oh, <laughs> goes for the cutter. <laughs> oh, Kappos, get out there. Get, yeah. get an edge guard. Oh, no, damn jar. Um, that's one, one problem with this. I don't know what Kappos was yeah. going for there. <laughs> there is like, no, no one in the vicinity except his teammate. He grabbed. Um, there's one thing I, I've noticed with this doubles comp. Yeah. Get Fizzle on the mic here. Dark Horse signing out. Um, this this comp, Mr. Sir and I played uh, Kirby Samus at Raider Bowl 64, and it was very apparent that Kirby does not have the tools to save Samus 
that Pika has. Kirby is a very strong uh, doubles character, but he's slow. Oh, and oh, Sam gets the, the down B! Oh, man. Oh, but he hits his own teammate. Capitalist gets to everyone. So, Villian, uh Team Blue had a strong lead the first game. Blew it, Green won. Right. Team Green had a strong lead in game two. Blew it, Team Blue won. <laughs> so that's how we got to game three here. Um, but we were, we were pretty, pretty close to tied. Yeah, we were exactly tied. 0-0, zero, zero, five stacks apiece. Um, Raz switched off of Luigi. Uh, he was playing Luigi the first two games, and his Pika is looking okay, but like his Luigi was like getting all the kills. So it's interesting to see him switch. Oh! Up air into Ness up B. But they, one of them needs to get over there and get an edge guard. Yeah, they just completely ignored him. Um, I, you know, I don't think that's necessarily a bad strat. Um, an underrated tech in doubles is to get yourself a 2v1, right? Yeah. And let them recover. You're just racking up damage. Um, but they didn't really, they didn't get a kill on Kirby, and Capsus is still alive. So in the end, it didn't really work in their favor. But there's something to be said for going for the 2v1 there. Because um, Kirby is, you know, this team, Kirby Samus, I was saying earlier, they really struggle saving each other. So it could be, you know, just in your favor to go for the 2v1 because you're not getting the help that you need. Hard read S match. Yeah, Sev. Oh, gets saved, but then subsequently gets edge guarded. <laughs> oh, he oh, made he it barely, barely on stage! Un edge guardable! When did Fyro get here? Oh, he needs another S match from Capos. He's just killing them with these. Uh, he hasn't gotten a lot of like the off stage down airs that Samus is known for, but uh, he's definitely killing them with the F smashes. Um, Green is still in this one for sure. Raz can definitely make it back. There's not a lot that uh, Ness can really do to save him, so he can just has to get back on his own merit, which he can definitely do. But you gotta play it safe. And that's a huge swing. Um, Jamjar might make it back here. Um, it was a great job from Samus uh, to give him the chance to make it back. Um, oh, and they're both far away from each other. Seth did really low to buy him some time, but it's not enough. Uh, I think Raz should have made a harder push to get back to the other side and help his team. Um, they're, yeah, they're all pretty high percent, but this would be a huge comeback. Oh, he gets in there. Oh, he's, he backed away from the edge guard instead opting to get a little more damage, trying to get the kill on. Raz is doing this! Raz is doing this! Uh, he doesn't know. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Jumps right the unsafest of landings. Jumps right into the hard read. Oh my that. god. He was doing it, and then he just didn't.